Hey guys, what is up? Thanks for coming back to the channel. So today guys, jumping right in, I'm going to show you three commands that could help you fix your computer and save you money. And meaning save you money, saving you money in the way that you don't have to hire a PC computer technician to solve your issue. So if you guys are having some issues with your computer, you know, it won't boot up or, you know, you're having a problem transferring data, it's giving you errors, running slow, stuff like that. Here are three commands that we can use to help you fix that. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go into your command prompt. And I know that's kind of old school, but um, this is where we have to run those. So if you click on your start button or right here in search, just type CMD. And when that comes up, let's just go ahead and right click it and run as administrator. Um, for most of these, or even all these, you probably don't have to run this as an administrator. However, um, I just get into the habit of it just because, you know, you might run into something that needs that and then you're in the middle of it and you don't have it and it's kind of a pain. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do is start with SFC. And a lot of people, if you're thinking this, a lot of people think that SFC stands for surface scan. It does not. SFC is System File Checker. And basically what SFC, SFC will do is it will check for damaged system files, corrupt system files, and attempt to repair them. Now I'll tell you right off the bat, um, SFC, this command, it, it's kind of hit and miss. A lot of times it won't work, um, but never fear because there are some other commands that we can run. Okay, so we're still going to try it. So with SFC here, we're going to type SFC space slash scan now. And what this will do is it's going to do the system file check scan now on the drive that we're on, which is the C drive. Now, if you need to scan a different drive, just simply switch to that drive by typing the drive letter and colon. Say, for instance, you have a D drive, which I do not but let's just see what it does. So if you want to do your D drive, you would just do D colon and enter. I don't have a D drive on my system. Um, we're just going to do the C drive. So let's clear the screen by using CLS. That's a bonus command for you, by the way. No, no charge and hit enter. So let's start with a clean slate. So again, we're going to do SFC for system file checker slash scan now. Now, once we hit enter on this, you guys will see right away that it's going to take you or tell you that it's going to take some time. And it definitely does. And what it is doing is it's going through and it's basically examining and scanning your entire file structure in your computer on your drive that you are on. Um, it will go in there and it checks for any damaged um, system files and it attempts to repair them or any corrupt system files attempts to repair them stuff like that um, so it's actually going pretty good here it should not find any errors um, because full disclosure right before i started recording to make this video for you guys i did a scan and i will show you what my result of that was um, so yeah windows uh, resource protection did not find any integrity violations, which is good. Um, let me show you what I got before I started recording. I got this. And so it actually did find um, corrupt files and it successfully repaired them. Now, sometimes, guys, just to let you know, and I've mentioned this already, that sometimes it will find system corrupt files and it will say it failed at repairing them. But don't worry, we've got some more options here. Um, so that just happened to be what I got there. It did find some and repaired them, which is why here it actually did not find any integrity violations. So we are good. So let's say, for instance, you got the thing where it said it repaired them and you want to continue checking. So our next command, what we're going to do here, we're going to do check this command, and that's just chk. DSK. And once you type that, you type check disk and um, hit enter, and it basically tells the system to check for disk errors and bad sectors. A lot of people think that there's 
there's no difference between the um, scanning a file at, or the SFC, the system file checker, and disk check, but there is a big difference. The first one, SFC, scans your file structure. Check disk actually scans kind of like the surface of your disk, checking for disk errors and bad sectors. So let's go ahead and hit enter on that, and it will tell you what type of file system, and it will go through all this fun little stuff here. And it'll give kind of like a, a you know, step-by-step -step of what it's doing. And that was pretty quick. So if we scroll back up just a little, we can see kind of what it was doing here. Um, let's see. You know, it scanned the basic file structure, kind of like the SFC did. And there's no bad file records um, down below. Um, it actually goes in and re-indexes stuff, it looks like. Um, examining security descriptors and everything looks good and as of right here you can see it has scanned the file system and found no problems no further action is required now if you were having issues kind of like I mentioned before you know the um, system file checker SFC command if it found anything and repaired it that might resolve your issue so you can check if your issue is resolved after that if not, you can come right back here to check disk and check that as well. Now, the other cool thing about check disk is say, like I mentioned before, say you have a D drive and that's the disk that you want to check. So actually all you have to do is type chk dsk space and then tell it what drive letter to check. I'm not gonna hit enter because as you guys have seen, I don't have a D drive in here. So, but if you give it that command, it will check disk the drive that you um, specify for it. So, all right. And the last one, let's say that, um, you know, these didn't find anything, but you're still having a problem. Well, if that is the case, then we can move right on here to the DISM command. And what DISM is, that stands for Deployment Image Servicing and Management. And that does three different things. Well, there's three different uh, ways that you can run this. And I'm actually going to type this here. By the way, I'll put all these commands down in the description below. Um, but this is what we need to type. First of all, we're giving it the DIS command, a DISM command, and then space slash online. And don't get this confused with the internet. This slash online just means uh, you're specifying this computer, this computer that's online and not online, meaning the internet, just it's the active computer that we're working on. Um, so after that, we do a space cleanup dash image because it's telling it to clean up the image. And then we're going to do space slash check health. Now, DISM um, is basically a tool that lets you administer the operating system image. And so sometimes when you're having weird issues, it could be the image that's out of whack. And so we're going to fix that. Let me go over these commands with you real quick. There is this one, the ISM online cleanup image and check health, but there is also DISM, well, and all that good stuff. And then I'm not gonna do it or type it all out, but, and then we can do a scan health. Now the scan health never made sense to me in all honesty, because I think that check health is the same thing. It's checking. The check health command, the first one I gave you, simply just checks to see if there is an issue. Scan health does the same thing, but it goes more in depth. So if you need to later on, you could do scan health, but I would always check with just check health. And so we're gonna go back to that one check health and we're going to go ahead and hit enter on that and it's going to go through its little thing here and it's going to say no component store corruption detected which is good but if you guys get a pop-up or the information says hey you got a problem here well what we're going to do at that point is we're going to recall the command by the way you do that with just the up arrow another bonus for you and then we are going to change this from check health 
to restore health. And again, use restore health only if this check health finds issues and you need to fix them. Uh, just remember, check health and this, this command with check health will only check to see if there is an issue. It will not repair that issue. In order to do that, you first have to detect there is an issue and then do the restore health option here. Um, so yeah, guys, again, uh, SFC, the uh, system file checker, check disk, and the DISM. And if you're having computer problems, one of those three should get you back on track depending on what the PC problem is. But anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. If this helped you at all, consider giving me a like, thumbs up right down there. And if you don't mind, I would love if you would subscribe for future content. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.